okay, well, we need controls to look at uh, controlling costs for persons who have diabetes, and that includes trying to have better uh, control for all the risk factors, trying to avoid hospitalizations, and trying to make sure that uh, we keep uh, levels to their, their target levels for uh, glycemic levels and for blood pressure and cholesterol. For uh, persons without diabetes, we need to have interventions that can slow the growth of diabetes because that's really what's causing a large increase in costs currently. Well, that's a good question and a tough question. We're seeing increases in costs for persons with diabetes, but it's a relatively slow increase. The real increase in the overall cost of diabetes seems to be coming from the growing number of persons with diabetes. So if we really want to get diabetes costs under control, we first have to stop people from getting diabetes. And that means better interventions to keep people from gaining weight and um, so forth.